This is my sister, Chenille's yes. dance. Yes. My identity doesn't fit in a box. My identity is freeform, improvisational. It breaks convention and creates its own genre. I was raised by two loving parents and an older sister in Northern California and was always encouraged to be myself. As a kid, I had long hair and was free to climb trees, play with dolls and toy guns, wear capes and hand-me-down party dresses. I identified as the opposite of a tomboy. Even in this alternative environment, I felt societal pressure to suppress my sensitive nature and cut my hair. Going into high school, I embraced dandy fashion and slacks and thrifted ties, and through song and fiction writing, privately explored my feminine side and a whole spectrum of identity. I also did extensive research on gender variance and identity, trying to figure out why I never felt like I fit. Non-binary was not yet a popular term, but I discovered the hidden history of others like me. Finally armed with role models who broke the mold, I played with my gender expression more publicly. And yet, shopping in women's sections, I felt shamed by fellow shoppers and dressing room attendants. And the stares I received wax skirts made me wary of what I wore out. After leaving small town NorCal, moving to San Francisco, and becoming involved in the queer performing arts scene, I tried out drag and fell in love. Having a female alter ego in a context in which I was called she unlocked something in me. And as I thrifted for costumes and overcame the cultural shame, the lines between dress up and day to day clothing blurred more and more. There were still outfits I didn't feel comfortable sporting unless performing or going out within the queer community. But I embraced brighter colors, more form fitting clothing, bigger earrings, and more eyeliner. I grew my hair out, groomed my eyebrows kept my face shaved and my hairy legs covered. What took longer to embrace was that I could feel feminine without adhering to the social construct that a woman has to be hairless. My body hair had made me uncomfortable as long as I'd had it. But seeing body hair sexualized within the queer community helped me accept that I could feel pretty and be hairy at the same time. I began to perform more of a spectrum of identities in my drag hyper-feminine to hyper-masculine to androgynous creature, often transforming over the course of a number. As I became conscious of bringing visibility to my fluid identity, my confidence grew in how I wanted to present in life offstage. While I have reserved skirts and dresses for going out or performing, now I'm more comfortable wearing whatever I want, wherever I want. And in New masculine fashion choices, I take pride in a butch side I once felt was my only option. My gender expression is not a phase. It is a lifelong journey. What I'm comfortable expressing has expanded. And by making my identity visible, I hope I can help expand our culture's acceptance. Gender is a spectrum. And we should be free to move through that spectrum without fear of being ostracized or harmed. Yes! I don't know where I'm headed next, yes! but I know I want to keep pushing and keep playing. Peace of the spectrum. Yes!